So this is what they're claiming to be the world's largest truck stop. It seems to be a, a theme on our trip, finding the world's largest of things. So we're gonna head inside, just take a look around. We've been here once before, but uh, we thought we'd make another stop. So this is one of the roadside, roadsideamerica.com attractions. And this is the only reason why we came here, is just to see this. And that's it. That's all you got. But that's what this trip is all about. Getting off the beaten path and seeing some interesting Americana sights. This is another one of those roadside America uh, stops. Uh, apparently there are several of these muffler men around the country. Um, and this one was just recently painted and apparently it was known for its bright red lips. All right, another stop. Another one of those quirky little roadside America attractions. This is supposed to be the world's largest washboard and it's, as you can see, it's just hanging on the side of a building. I guess they used to make washboards here. That's my guess, but you can look it up. Take a walk down here. Columbus Washboard Factory. These are the kind of stops we're making along this trip out west. Columbus Washboard Company established 1895. Oh, well, maybe they're still open. The building looks a little run down, but it still looks like something's going on in there. So this is a pencil sharpening museum. I guess they have museums for everything. It's actually pretty cool in here. It's not a very big building. It's about the size of a large shed that you may have in your backyard. And it's pretty cool. The price of admittance is well worth it. It was zero dollars.
just showing you just one level of the pencil sharpeners. There are several. Check it out if you're ever in Logan, Ohio. Thank you, Roadside America. There's another another stop on the on the crazy things to see. Large rubber duck. Just all part of the journey. This is butt. This is the world's largest covered wagon. Abe up there reading a book. We were told yesterday that he read out loud every time he read something, which kind of annoyed his wife, which is a funny story in itself. But, so this was just built for an attraction and it's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. So kind of a fun little stop before we hit the highway. And we are in Lincoln, Illinois. The only town to be named after Abraham Lincoln. Before, I believe it was before he was president. So he must have been a well-known uh, lawyer in, in the town of Springfield. Of course he was. Another fun fact about Lincoln was uh, we were told yesterday that he told his law partner before he went to the White House to leave the sign up in front of their their law office because he wanted to come back and practice law when he was done being president, just to continue on as if nothing ever happened. But as we all know, um, he never made it back. <laughs> 